Hello, so I think I may have finally found a decent electric arc lighter or a plasma lighter. Now you've done, a, you probably know if you're into my lighter videos, I've done several videos before on plasma lighters and I always had problems with them. So this one, somebody recommended to me in a YouTube comments one, I was going to maybe get that one, and then when I was looking to get that one, I spotted one that actually looked a bit better. So the company that's branded this, because bear in mind with lots of these lighters, if it's a Chinese company doing it, um, they're often the same lighters with just with different brand names on, so you kind of shop by design rather than, um, you know, the brand name. But this is for who, or maybe it's even for you, um, but it's F-O-R-H-U, and it says DI lighter. Now I have no idea what the DI bit stands for. Um, but what it basically is, is an electric arc lighter or a plasma lighter. And I've got it in my pocket, I'll just show you what you would have got in here. So it's got a charging cable there, I've not bothered getting this out yet. Um, you've got like a little instruction or warranty booklet, I guess, there. It says, best gift for him, her and you. Um, so as you can see, this is kind of um, slightly in broken English, I think, like most of these are. But anyway, let's get it out. So this is the lighter, so you could get this one in several colours. You could get this in the blue I got, uh, in sort of just boring silver, um, in black, or I think in like a weird rainbow colour. Now, if you got the blue or the silver one, it was £15. If you got the other colours, I think it was either £16 or £17. I thought I'd just get this one because it's cheapest and I don't have many other lighters in blue. So it actually says, for you or for who, DI lighter on the top. And um, it's basically just kind of cylindrically shaped. So it's got this charging port on the bottom and an on-off switch and it's got the flip open lid so you just literally flip that open. Now you can see there that the four sort of electric points um, which the sort of arc goes through are on the very top where you can actually get at them and this is the important thing with this one. So there is a little catch but I think that's just sort of a magnetic catch, yeah that is, to um, you know help keep it closed. However, with this one, you'll notice it doesn't turn on at all until you flick the switch on on the bottom. So we'll just do that now. And it's quite hard to get out switch, which is good, because it means you can't accidentally do it in your pocket. When it's on, you'll see that there's obviously an LED in there for it to light, so there you go. That is the lighter working. So, Hopefully by this design you can see that it's actually an accessible electrode, you should be able to get it at stuff and, you know, uh, light them. Because the problem I had with these electric lighters, I have one that's also a coil lighter, which I'll not bother showing you in this video, which I found wasn't very good at all. Um, with most of these electric lighters, sure they're probably fine at lighting cigarettes, but the issue is most companies that sell them uh, advertise them as doing other things than that. And then people had a go at me going, Oh, why are you complaining that it doesn't light, well, it light you know, it only lights cigarettes? That's, that's what a light is designed for. Well, if the company says explicitly on the page where they sell it, it can do lots of other things, such as light candles, you know, start bonfires, things like that. That's false advertising if it doesn't do it. So let's show you some examples of things like this. So I have this V-Way or Huawei lighter, whichever one it is. This isn't bad. This was like very early for electric arc lighters when they weren't very mainstream. Um, so that's this one. It's also a sort of dual arc one. Now, as I've said before, the issue of this one, if you're lighting a cigarette, it's absolutely fine. The issue is um, if you try and light a candle or anything like that, it's quite difficult, especially if it's in a glass tub. Um, because the lid blocks you from getting at stuff and it's got a safety mechanism that when the lid closes it cuts the lighter off as you can probably see so that's not great about it because <clears throat> it means yes it will light cigarettes but this one as well people in all the reviews um, said I was sent a free lighter and it can do all these things you know well, I can't um, you're sort of shilling there aren't you um, so that wasn't that great about that one. Then I did find that you could get like ones that were like Zippo clones, and these are pretty good because obviously they work with the lid open and the element is a bit more exposed. However, it's still not perfect. Um, I found I could do more of this one, but again, the lid still takes up a lot of room. So, you know, it still gets in the way a little bit, as you can probably see, especially if you're trying to use it to do something like that. It <clears throat> takes up a lot more room. And the electrodes are still shielded enough that it can be difficult to light certain things with it. Um, then there's another design of them, which is probably the most practical of all of these. It's this weird type one, which are kind of like those kitchen um, gas hob lighters. And it's actually designed so you can hang it up like one of those. So how this works is um, 
charging ports on the side there. You have this switch here, you flick this up, that exposes the element, then the button is visible there, and there you've got your um, little thing. Lots of people say, do these work like a taser or a stun gun? No, they don't. We've demonstrated that in videos before on this channel. Um, it gives you like a very mild burn if you try it. It certainly wouldn't work in a self-defense situation. And knowing the laws in the UK, especially if you try to use this in a self-defense situation, assuming the criminal didn't laugh at you and then kill you for trying to attempt to defend yourself for one of these, the police would probably then do you for illegally having a Section 5 um, stun gun or whatever and throw the book at you. So it'd be a lose-lose scenario using these for self-defense, but I'm going off the point. But anyway, these ones are actually the most practical for lighting stuff, because as you can see, you can get at any angle of them. The issue being that this isn't the ideal shape to have in your pocket to carry around as a practical lighter. So now we come back to this thing. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go and grab a candle, and I'm going to see if it lights candles all right, because it said on the selling description page for this on Amazon, it could light candles, so let's see if it actually does it this time. Right, here you can hopefully see I've got a Yankee candle in a big pot. So, how um, would you like this? Now, as I was saying, maybe this isn't too deep in there, so the other one would work, but let me show you the Zippo one for um, a comparison. So, let's say I want to light this candle and I've got this arc lighter. Well, as you can see, the lid is kind of stopping me getting inside there. Now even if I try and partially close the lid, it's still not going to get in there. So, as far as I can tell, these sort of ones are completely impractical for trying to light a candle with. Um, and as said, the other one, the V-Way one, I found was even worse for that, because it's got the lid with the cut-off mechanism on it. So, this one, again, this one gets a bit closer actually, but again, it's not going to get all the way down to light the candle. So those two are actually completely useless for lighting candles in a jar, especially as they get nearer the bottom. When it's near the top it would probably still work. So this stick one, just to show you, the reason this one's actually practical is you can put this down in there like that, and there we go. You can actually light your candle with it. So we know this one works, right? So what we want to find out now is does the new one I bought work, because they advertised it as doing this. So here we go. We'll flick the switch on on the bottom, and you can see blue LED on the end. So, oh look, it looks like it's going to fit. Oh look, it works! It actually works! So there you go. This one um, is actually a practical design, because as you can see, the element is exposed, so even with the lid there, um, I mean, and if you really wanted to, I don't know if there's an actually sort of a screw you can get out on there, but you could probably snap it off if you really wanted to, because that lid obviously has nothing to do, because you hear it's still on under there, because this is controlled by an on-off switch on the bottom. You could totally remove the lid and actually have this as a fully functional, you know, one that you can use on pretty much anything. So, I'm just going to see if I can find some more candle-type designs here, because, um, obviously... We've established that this one, um, you know, works. Um, so I just want to test it on a few different types of candles if I've got any handy. Um, but I think on the picture they said this could light incense sticks, which I totally believe it could. The others can light incense sticks, assuming they're not at a really weird position. Um, obviously cigarettes, it said. I think it said cigars and pipes as well. Um, I've quit smoking, so I can't actually tell you if this would light a pipe properly. But I imagine, yeah, you could get that in the pipe bowl and do that, and it would work absolutely fine. Cigars, again, you can just stick this into the end of the cigar, so it's going to light the cigar fine. Um, so, let me just now go and grab another type of candle, if I've got one handy, and we will see if it works for that. Well, I found a new and unopened one. I think I got this for my birthday or Christmas last year, and I don't go through these very quickly at all. That's actually like a stout wick in this one, you can barely see it. Um, but, yeah, it smells nice. Now, this is actually a smell I probably prefer to that cherry one. It's um, soft cotton. Um, I always use sort of cotton or fresh laundry um, air fresheners in my car as well, because I find they smell the most practical. So before we use the other lighter, let's just check if this V-Way one can actually do it. I'm not going to go through all of these to check, but, you know, I'm just going to try and demonstrate my point again. <laughs> um, even with a brand new one, look. Um, I think you might just be able to get to the wick on this one. Maybe. Yeah, look, that just about worked, but if it was any lower in there, 
this one would not have worked due to its design. So let's blow this one out. And then let's go back to our new one with the practical design. Flick it back on again because I've been flicking it off as soon as I've used it. And there we go. So, are you ready? Oh look, it lit that really easily. So as you can see, this is actually quite a good design. Now I'll just do this again with the light off so you can see it working. Um, these aren't really interesting because they don't give off loads of light like some lighters. But the point I want to get at is it seems, um, whatever they were called, for you or for who or for you, whatever way it is, for you, um, it seems like it's actually a good design. Oh, it even said it on the top, didn't it? Um, because this is actually fairly practical. It would only have both more bonus points if there was actually a little way you could remove the clip for the lid really practically and easily if you just didn't want the lid on there at all. Um, but anyway, let's flick the light off and try it again. Okay, so there's a bit of light coming from the aquarium in the side of the room, um, but mostly what we've got here is obviously this lighter and the candle. So, just so you can see the arc in the dark, there you go, that's what it looks like. Um, it's basically two crisscrossing, I assume it's just, yeah, it just does it diagonally. Um, they cross diagonally, um, the sort of purple plasma arc beams. Anyway, so let's um, now test this again. I'll see if I can angle this a bit so you can hopefully see it. Yeah, and there we go. It works fine. So, what we have established is that this arc lighter actually has a practical design that does its job. Now it's meant to have an auto cut off feature, so let's see if that works. I think it's once you hold the button down for too long. Yeah, there we go, it works. Um, it stops so you can't burn the thing out or completely drain the battery in your pocket. Now it's too early days to say how long this um, battery lasts, um, you know, how long it takes to charge and how many times you get a use out of it before the battery runs out. Hopefully it's a decent number. Now. I don't know about the on-off switch as well. I'm assuming if you're not using it, you're meant to flick the on-off switch off. Um, I mean, I would, um, but I personally don't actually know. But, as said, this does seem a competent, good design. Um, as said, this was £15 for the blue one or the silver one, the black and the rainbow-coloured one that looks kind of like an oil stain. Um, those were like £16 or £17. They were a bit more expensive. This was on Amazon Prime as well, so I got it the day after ordering it. Um, but I'm, you know, just pleased that somebody has made a design of one of these, finally, that actually works properly. And I said, the only thing that could be improved is not the thing that lets you actually just physically take the lid off if you wanted to. You know, like you could hinge, unhinge it and then do something for it to come off. I mean, maybe lots of people would think that would be a bad feature because they might lose the lid. But regardless, it charges by the look of it with your standard, I know the cable's in the box, but your standard um, micro kind of USB or whatever it's called. Um, you know, like the smaller USB type, because I think there's mini and micro, isn't there? Mini was like the PS3 controller charging one, <clears throat> and then you've got micro, which is like the Samsung phone charging size one. Um, pretty much any Android phone uses that, so you're going to have the cable lying around if you're a normal person. So, there you go. The Yankee candle smells alright as well. Um, I'll put the lid on this one in a minute and um, go back to using the other one until that's empty. But yeah, this will probably be a nice scented candle when I've um, been done with that. But yeah, this actually seems like it's a really practical lighter that, you know, will do its job of being a lighter, which is what I want. So, um, thumbs up then for now, unless something goes wrong with it for the for you or for you, um, you know, lighter. It's actually doing its job of, um, you know, like I said, all of them were like cigarettes, but they all advertise themselves as doing more than that. And this is the only one I've seen so far that's actually a practical design that would do more than that. Um, the only question is, how long would the battery last if you're charging it every day? Um, you know, in terms of how long so the battery kind of just doesn't hold a charge anymore, I don't know. Too early days to tell that. The, other, the thing I will say that is good with all my other electric arc lighters, though, is... I think with some of them it's been over a year since I've charged them and they still work. Whether or not they're at 100% capacity on the battery, I don't know. But the point being that, you know, I can charge them, um, forget about them, and it's not like, you know, with a Zippo lighter where it's going to evaporate the fuel. It seems they actually all, all the brands I've tried of electric lighters do hold their charge. So it's probably quite practical. And as people have said, although I wouldn't recommend them, you know, really for a survival end of day scenario, 
what you could probably do with these, as people have said, is if you have one of those good um, USB power banks that can actually charge itself via solar power, you could in theory charge these off of that, which, you know, is a nice bonus, I guess. I'd always have other lighters or a fire steel as a backup, but that is kind of an interesting, you know, point. So there you go. The For You um, electric lighter seems actually very practical and good, so thumbs up to them for being the first company I've seen to design one that actually does other things than just lighting cigarettes.